What's the deal guys, welcome back. Today we gotta be talking about HGA. I know some of you guys love it. I know some of you guys hate it. I got my own opinion on it. We're gonna go over it today. We're gonna show off my first order. It finally came back. But before we show off the first order, I kinda need to throw in my own opinion about this. So I sent off five cars at 30 business days. It took around like 42 business days to get here. And eh, it's, it's all right. I mean, I get it. You miss times because you're busy. But then my big thing is don't shit on other companies if you can't match your word like don't walk around claiming you're big dog if you're not a big dog that's just straight honest don't say 30 days mean 30 days and then never hit 30 days and then the other problem that i had with hga is their communication is shit honestly absolutely horrible i reached out five times to get a response horrible i was just absolutely just beyond frustrated with them and i don't think you should have to beg a new company for attention and yeah i get it because you know beckett just closed doors psa closed doors again it's like who else are you gonna go to well my option now i'm not even gonna grade cards i'm just gonna chill because hga i'm just over it honestly scg is not that great looking in my opinion and cg whatever it is that looks like a notebook now nah, i'm cool off that too there's like a revolution grading company but that's like how do you get your grades really like who's gonna buy it if you get all tens okay whoop de wop so what are they trying to make their brand look good by grading a card that probably shouldn't be a 10 a 10 or is it a true 10 nobody knows but as of right now i am not grading any more cards i even might reach out to hda and get my cards back because i am so irritated with them it's just so frustrating dealing with them this is coming from a person that used to push hga like crack in the 80s i swear to god i have so many people that have orders with hga because of my recommendation and for that i just want to say i'm sorry i have a friend otl he actually said i can use his slabs in a video too because he was actually really unhappy with his too because the sloppiness of the slab like where they put the name of the player and the grade and all stuff super sloppy it's like they let a third grader cut it I'm not even sorry about that it really looks like a third grader cut it but guys with that being said enough of my opinion i know why you're here let's get into the slabs all right guys five cards again five cards and uh let's get straight into it So the first one is a Justin Herbert. I got an HGA nine. You'll see what's really common in all these cards. This is probably one of the best looking cards that I've gotten back. Um, I was expecting a lot from HGA and they kind of truly disappointed me, but uh, the slabs are nice. I'll give them that. The slabs are very nice. Very, very, very nice. Like actually sturdy and whatnot. So we got that one. We got the Jalen Hurts Prism Rookie Card HGA9, and uh, you could tell it got pretty much the same exact grade as the Justin Herbert, and I honestly kind of think it came from the same box. The one thing that I don't like too much is this card actually shakes. I don't know if you could tell, like there's gaps in it. So if you shake it enough, it'll, uh, you know, move around and whatnot, but still a nice looking card. Definitely, um... Definitely a decent looking card. The problem is at the very top, if you can't tell, their cutting is not that great. Like the corners are dull and whatnot. It's like you gave my corners a nine, but I give your corners maybe like a seven, if not lower, truthfully, because they suck. This is probably the dopest card out of the whole um, order, and I just like the way it turned out, truthfully. This is super dope. Fernando Tatis, Bowman first paper. Really nice. I got hit super bad on the uh, surface at a at an 8. I'm not understanding how it got an 8. This is a paper card. Like, how is the surface that bad? Yeah, this would have been a 9.5 if the surface wasn't an 8, which they kind of screwed me. But it's still probably the best-looking card in the bunch, truthfully. I really like the white border and, you know, it just looks really uniformed. But the last two, not really great, honestly. I kind of um, kind of wish they turned out better. We got the uh, green laser rated Ricky Jalen Hurts. And um, I thought this slab was going to look a lot better. I'm still iffy about it. I don't know if I like the white on top. It got a 9 again, two nine fives on the corner and the surfaces and the edges. And the centering got a nine. It's really hard to get any type of grade higher than a nine, nine, five with this company. If you get a 10, well, you just struck gold. 
even though they don't sell for gold, but you struck gold somehow. So yeah, this is a nice card. Definitely a cool looking card. I got a Justin Jefferson laser with them too. And then the last one, this is the one that I was waiting for so much. And it honestly, I'm just, it just disappointed me so much. I was so hyped on this card and it straight disappointed me. And I'm so frustrated with HGA and I emailed them already. Like what, what the hell were you guys looking at? Because it, it doesn't match anything. And this was a neutral match team or card. Anyways, I'll plug what I seen on the website and it, it was supposed to be black. And it turned out to be white and it turned out to be his like, you know, his home jersey, not the black and gold jersey in the card. So if you could tell, you see how that's purple and gold? Like, where's purple and gold? It's gold and black. I'm not, I'm not understanding. And it's a really, really nice card. I love this card. This was, honestly, this was a card that was going to save my um, opinion on HGA. And the fact that it came in like this, it was very disappointing, truthfully. But they do stack nice. They do stack nice. They do feel good. I'll give them that. They do feel good for sure. This is probably the coolest card I got out there. And uh, yeah, they are not bad, not bad. All right, guys. Now, with that being said, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you guys think about HGA. Are you guys with them still? Are you guys not? Is there a big problem? Is it just minor issues? Have you tried and tried and tried? Have you not got in? Because I know a lot of people still haven't got in. Do you think they are a new wave? Are they messing up too much? I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And if you did, please consider to drop a like, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing to stay in the loop. I drop a video once a day, helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally. We talk about sports cards. We talk about news. We talk about all kinds of cool shit. All for free. Every day. All you got to do is subscribe. But anyways, guys, my name is Derek. We're Flipping Drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.